Oddball here, welcome to the kitchen. We've got ourselves some, some nice, delicious pheasant breasts. Now some of these have been pre-tenderized. I was able to recover some shot. Looks like it got a little bit of number four shot, and, and, but it looks like it was recovering a lot more of the six and the five shot. I'd even say the six is what I got the most of. The number four shot clearly is gonna leave a bigger hole. It's, it's a much uh, bigger chunk of lead. And then you got your number six shot right there, and I, I believe, I didn't get these out of measurement, I believe that's the, oh, come on. I believe that's the number five shot. Those smaller pellets are gonna lose energy, but they're not gonna damage the meat quite as bad. And the, the bigger shot is gonna penetrate better um, and a, a better chance of bringing that bird down. On the other hand though, there are less pellets in the four shot. You have a bigger pellet. If you got an ounce of shot, do the math, you're gonna have less pellets flying in the air. On the smaller of the shot, you're gonna have more pellets. So you, you just, you gotta choose, you gotta choose what, uh, what you like. But sometimes you hit that bird and it just tenderizes that meat. And some, some people may really, really like that meat tenderized. And others, they want, they want that meat in pristine shape. Now, it's a shotgun, it's not precision. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I dug plenty of these little number sixes and number fives out of these breasts, but I did notice a substantial difference in the breasts that I pulled those out of. And there were a few of these that you could definitely tell had met the, the number four shot. And, and when it hits, it just hits a little bit harder, tears up the meat. And so you do end up with, uh, I, I think, a little bit more meat loss on that. So anyway, if, if you're wondering what shot to use, uh, clearly these were found, these were all found in dead birds. So clearly they all worked. And some worked way better than others. Anyway, just uh, food for thought. And nowadays with the ammo shortages and how difficult it is to find, sometimes you just take what you can get five and six shot and what four shot does to a pheasant. You make the choice. Now, a lot of people say use the number four for late season birds. They're a little bit tougher. They're a little more skittish and you need to be going through and breaking bones, all that kind of stuff. I, I, I don't know. All I, all I know is I had, I had the time of my life. I really uh, am grateful for my friends who took me out. The biggest hope is that we got all of these out of all of these so we're not reacting back to the future, if you know what I mean. I'll take you as far as the railroad tracks. You can follow them straight on into town. All right, we're just gonna half these down the middle, get them nice and thin. We just, we're just, we wanna cook them fast and furious. It cooks up really fast. <laughs> that was one of the more tenderized breasts right there. Using my great grandpa's old frying pan, used one of his old knives, and used one of his old sharpening skill. It's not really a sharpening skill, it's just a skill. Some good salt right here. We put some pepper on it, some granulated onion on it. Season them however you want, but cooking them this way, you don't really need much. They're just a a little bit of garlic. Then you grab your favorite serving ware. You always know the good ones because they're chipped because you use them the most. All right, moment of truth. Got the orange soda. Got the lettuce with grandpa's special blue cheese dressing and the pheasant a la king. All right, anybody tried it yet? Yeah, I'm going to try it's it, really right? Good. Yeah. It's delicious, it's yummy. It's delicious. You have an interesting technique there.